dude, dude. Holy crap, get out of there! Welcome back, super friends and super family. I am Thor, your friendly neighborhood god of thunder, and today I'm reacting to Duel. So I've been continuing my run of Steven Spielberg movies. Uh, I've also been reacting to Band of Brothers, so if you haven't seen those reactions, I'll be reacting to that show, possibly The Pacific after this. But as for my classic movies, I try to do one per week. Steven Spielberg has been occupying my time, and I've really, really been enjoying his films. Duel, I, it's not his first movie, at least when I looked it up. It looked like he's done a couple, I think one or two other ones that didn't really get good reviews, but I think this is one that pe I've heard people refer to when they talk about early Steven Spielberg, and I also saw some comments suggesting this movie, so excited to see that, excited to see Steven Spielberg before he became that household name, famous, successful movie director that we all, you know, basically can rely on being a masterful director and you know most of the time also delivering just an enjoyable movie going experience so i don't know I, it's always cool to go back and see someone before you know at their early stages maybe before they had that money and that success and maybe when they're still learning some of the tricks of the trade uh but it'll be interesting to see i know this movie is about a a guy like the duel is takes place on a highway and is between i believe a semi truck and a regular dude just driving a car i don't know i'm assuming smaller maybe like a mini cooper <laughs> Actually, if it actually is a Mini Cooper, that would be hilarious. But I think it's just like someone driving on the road and he gets into like a road rage incident with a semi-truck driver and that's the duel of the movie. Uh, it could be off. I think that's, I, I watched a long time ago, I watched a Steven Spielberg documentary um, and that's what I, I'm pretty sure I remember from that, like him talking about this movie, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it was something else. Um, <laughs> I, I, I'll bet money that there's a semi truck somewhere in this movie. Let me just say that. Uh, but yeah, thank you for watching along. Let me know in the comments too. Like I said, I do want to watch more Spielberg movies. Um, I'm not sure what next week's reaction is going to be. Maybe the terminal with Tom Hanks. Um, but let me know in the comments if there's any Spielberg movie that is a must see, you know, besides the ones I've already reacted to, I'm going to have a playlist, but if there's anyone that you think is just really important or maybe even underrated let me know in the comments down below uh, as always if you want to watch this reaction the full version and support what i do that's going to be on patreon next week's classic movie reaction is also going to be on patreon but for now let's just get into the movie duel Well, the opening shot, and I'm already enjoying the style. You know, a POV of a car without showing us a clear view of the protagonist. I have driven through here many times. It's always crazy, like, when you see locations that you're familiar with in a movie. Personally, I've never been a big radio listener while in the car. I usually listen to my own music or a podcast or books on tape. But let me know, are you someone who enjoys kind of just going through the radio, listening to whatever's on? Back in the day, you had a lot fewer options. <clears throat> unfortunately, <laughs> an unhappy marriage. Stay-at-home dads were way less common in the 70s when this movie came out, right? It's a bit of an anomaly. Maybe I'm wrong. That's just something I think culturally is more of a recent phenomenon. Think when I send in the... Nobody is even gonna know. Are you sure? I mean, they're gonna know now that you're talking about it on the radio. Although I guess he could be remain anonymous. Don't tell me this is what triggers the road rage. Is it going to be a gas truck and he just tries to go around and the driver gets upset? <laughs> That's a cool shot. Okay, I think pretty early on Spielberg had some masterful camera maneuvers. I mean, in this type of situation, I don't even think it's remotely rude to, like, pass a truck or something like this. Knew I made a mistake, but no, I got a hold of this first before she did. I thought, well, I'll have... 
This radio conversation is more amusing than I would have guessed. Was that necessary, dude? Was that really necessary? It's like, come on. I look at the driver like, dude, what's your problem, man? I have actually experienced though, like I have been on the freeway and had semi trucks pull some dangerous maneuvers that were quite dangerous. So I feel like I can relate to our protagonist here. It's not over. You're breathing that sigh of relief a little too soon. This is gonna make the gas truck catch up with you though. Yep, here he is. Watch, it's gonna open the door and the Jeepers Creepers monster is gonna be coming out. Is he gonna confront him? Where's the driver? Watch out. And what's he gonna look like, honestly? 9716, collect. Uh, Dave. My focus is on the background. I'm worried the driver is gonna show up and like grab him or hit him or something. <laughs> That'd be hilarious if she was the driver, honestly. I'm sorry about last night. Oh, I really don't even want to talk about it. Well. What happened? What happened last night? Oh, of course not, but I mean, I think you could have at least said something to the man last night. Oh, did someone insult her and he didn't, he didn't do anything? Frankly, trying to rape me in front of that whole party. Jeez. Honey, I said there probably won't be a problem. <laughs> That's not super reassuring. I'll just... Be on time, okay? All right. He's definitely gonna be late. It seems like the guy is gonna have to learn by the end of the movie, um, maybe to stand up for himself and his family a little bit more, or be comfortable with some confrontation. Come back now. Will do. I want to see the driver of the truck, but part of me really enjoys the choice not to show him. It almost builds up the suspense and anticipation. Almost dehumanizes the truck driver, too. Dang, he is really booking it to catch up! Well, I guess they're not going too fast. What a jerk. I gave you the road, why don't you take it? Exactly! Why don't you go? Because he's being super petty and has extreme road rage for the last time you passed him, bro. Maybe this is the guy who called into the radio and isn't the head of his household. He's very bitter. <laughs> Careful, man. This guy is clearly unstable. No, don't trust it. Be careful. Well, it's about time, Charlie. Why do you call him Charlie? Watch out! Holy! Okay, that is beyond rude, dude. You're trying to kill this guy. And not only this guy, but some other poor driver, man. Come on, you miserable fathead. Get that fat ass truck out of my way. He's more than a miserable fathead, dude. He is insane. If you're gonna make a move to pass him, you better really book it and accelerate when you do. Don't let him run you off the road. You wanna play games? Okay, he's going for it. He took me out of ice. Go, 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 hurry. Oh, a little off-roading or off a side road. Okay, careful because he's going to be really pissed. You better keep keep going quick. Keep an eye on your rear view mirror. <laughs> Dude, come on. You got distracted by listening to the music. 
It's like It Follows, but instead of a demonic monster, it's a giant gas truck. It just doesn't stop. Dude, he might literally just run you over. You better hurry up and accelerate. I like having all these camera shots like so close to the street. It really adds this intensity. Dude, he's gaining on you, man. It's in situations like this, like you just wish you had those driving skills of someone like Baby Driver, you know? Give me a little tap. Does it say Land of Enchantment on his license plate? Okay, and now this is just getting more and more dangerous. Come on. Dude, careful. Oh, is it, he's off-roading it? Oh, he's just pulling off to the side. Okay, okay. I don't blame you. I don't blame you, man. What happened? It's decent of this guy to come over and check, make sure he's okay. Down the mountain. At nearly 90 miles an hour, I don't... Man, he's not even exaggerated. That guy is trying to kill him. And he was rushing, not dragging, for sure. Just a little whiplash is all. <laughs> yeah, he's like, he does not believe his story about the truck driver trying to kill him. I mean, it does sound a bit extreme, but that's what was going on, man. <laughs> Poor guy, man. Oh, Red Boy, it was a nightmare, but it's over now. Uh, I don't think it's quite over yet, unfortunately. Complication. Oh, look like a big complication to me. <laughs> oh, it sucks that everyone's like laughing at him. Oh, look, there he is. This guy is just insane. He's like Stuntman's Mike evil cousin or something. Are we going to see the guy? Is the guy here right now? Is that him? Cowboy hat? Thinks he's such a tough guy. He's probably like the most insecure man who ever lived. Wait, I don't remember which pair of shoes it was, honestly. Which boots? Yeah. That was a very effective way to build up the tension than to kind of startle you out of it with her dropping the silverware. He was flying off the deep end. He has to be crazy. Yes, I agree with that conclusion. I think it's that guy with the glasses. Or maybe not. Maybe it's that guy staring at him. I should have paid closer attention to those boots earlier. Maybe not. Don't get too comfortable. There are other witnesses, though. Fast before, and he had to slow down, turn around. That's no, 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 no. That's not it. This guy is unhinged, and he's after you. I do like how he's in denial about how insane this guy could be, though. Some, some souped-up diesel. My, my car's just not that powerful. Okay, that explains like how he was able to catch up. What can you do? I feel like it'd be easier to take on this guy before he gets in his car. I irritated you, but let me, uh... Yeah, don't, don't do that. Don't apologize to him. He's the guy being crazy. That was a cool way to kind of demonstrate his thoughts, especially with that use of a POV camera shot and seeing the, the looks he would anticipate getting doing those you know, trying to apologize. Actually, you deny everything. I've, I've, I've got no proof, and I'm sure none of it. Yeah, it's just his word against yours. Is that him, really? Oh, no, okay. All right, 
Spielberg has a good misdirection. Okay. My money's on Mr. Glasses. That's who it is. In his state of anxiety, too, and the way Spielberg is moving the camera, it does make it feel like everyone is an unfriendly face. Don't you tell me I need help. Oh, shoot. Hey! Hey! Come on. Jeez. I don't even think that was the guy. See? It's like the thing, you know? It's like, who's the one? Who's got the evil alien inside? What the heck? Did he, did I miss the guy leaving or is that guy in the truck this entire time? Well, this guy realized he's not Tom Cruise. He can't just run for an unending amount of time in a movie. That was kind of a cool twist. I did not expect that. Why didn't you flag down that truck? What truck? Would you mind? The one that just went by here a couple of minutes. Oh, no, no. No, 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 no. That he pulled off somewhere so he can get behind you, dude. You got to be careful. It might be easier to push it without the kids in the bus. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Man, everyone in this movie just gives this guy a hard time. Oh, great. Here he comes. It's honestly like a horror movie monster, like slowly approaching. I like how he like came in the tunnel and like it all comes into darkness. It's a cool visual. Isn't there a horror movie where like a car eats people or something based on a Stephen King book? Yeah, this psycho will endanger kids. Who knows what he'll do? What's he gonna do exactly? Like just run into their car? Run into the bus? Oh, he's actually helping them. Yeah, his vendetta is very personal. He's just after you. He might even be doing this kind Good Samaritan deed just to rub it in your face. It's the calm before the storm, the deep breath before the plunge, as Gandalf would say. Oh no, I know this is going to be a setup for a bad situation. Jeez, he came up on him so quietly. This is beyond insane. All these quick cuts really do add intensity to the scene. I'm surprised he didn't go off-road and try to kill him there. I'm like getting paranoid. Like every time I see another car, I'm like looking behind him. Like, where is this truck from hell? See, look at that. No road rage, nothing crazy. People pass each other like that all the time. It's no big deal. Oh boy. Yeah, he's waiting for you. You got a telephone. Out and back. This way? Is he gonna call the police? Like, what do you do? Maybe you can use that. Grab a rattlesnake, walk up to his truck slowly, throw one in the window or something. What's he going to do? David Mann. How do you spell that? M-A-N-N. -N, that's two N's. Dude, look out. Look out. Pay attention to this guy. It's like seeing a wild animal. You can never take your eyes off of it. Right. Dude, Mann. dude. Holy crap. Get out of there. 
Holy dude, he's going. Watch out. Oh, jeez. No, 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 no. And this poor woman, this poor woman, you know. Oh, this is why it sucks not having cell phones. And this poor woman, those are her pets and her livelihood, right? I mean, this movie does do a good job of making you really hate this like evil truck driver. And he's also like this force of nature, like he feels inhuman. I think he's got some of that fighting spirit though. I don't know what you can do in your car against a huge truck. The highway is all yours, Jack. I'm not budging for at least an hour. I mean, I wouldn't blame him if he did that. That might be the safest move. What is the car, is the truck gonna be there when he wakes up now? Okay. <laughs> Just the train. I don't know, maybe the truck is still gonna be there. Oh, okay. The evil truck is not present. You've gotta be kidding me! You've gotta be kidding me! That was a cool way to reveal it though, too. And also his reaction. Look out, look out! Watch behind you, watch behind you, bro! Little does that guy know how good of a reason he has to be pulled off in the middle of the road like that. This reminds me of Russell Crowe from Unhinged, but I think this truck driver is beyond even that level. Like, he makes him look, you know, civil. Come on, it's a gas truck, so his weakness is if he crashes, he can explode. Come on, it's just like Top Gun Maverick. It's not the jet, it's the pilot, it's not the car, it's the driver. You got this. Yeah, you have every right to get mad. Let's go, get some fighting energy. I don't know if going on foot is the best idea. He might just run you over. Oh, he almost caught a glimpse of the guy's face. The guy's really driving off? He's like, I want to kill you behind the wheel. I'm not so comfortable with face-to-face -face confrontation. What's the matter? Car trouble? Well, in a way, yes. I wonder if you do me a favor. What's that? Give me a lift. All I'm asking you to do is just to make a phone call. Jim, step on the My life's in danger. Come on, what's wrong with her? Why can't she help him out? Jam. Oh, holy, look out. That sounded like a psycho sound effect, like from the movie. Oh no, there goes your car. What is he gonna do? This guy just loves messing with his head, like mocking him. It's like cat versus mouse. That old couple is so unhelpful, especially the wife. It's like this guy's clearly desperate. He can't make a phone call. I like those quick cuts in. He's like, I'm getting ready for war. The second you pass him, he's going to be after you. Here he comes. What's the plan? What do you do? Here we go. Maybe if he goes fast enough and if he, you know, is able to be a good driver himself, he can get the guy to lose control and crash the truck. Oh, what's up ahead? What's in the middle of the road? Careful, careful. Don't lose control. 
Don't get a speeding ticket. Oh, it's pest control. I thought it was a, car, a police car. <laughs> Good thing he didn't run into that poor dude. What the heck? The road's closed? How unlucky is that? Just drive through it. Drive through it. That's going to slow you down. Oh, can he get him to crash into the train somehow? I don't know how, but... The train's like, I could play this game too. Oh, dang. Drawing blood. He's gonna try to go off-road or something, cut you off, maybe. Oh, great. Oh, this is just the worst. Oh, gosh, this guy is so unlucky. You might get out of your car and start running. I don't think it's just gonna magically start up again, man. Oh, you need a miracle. So are you gonna just roll downhill and hope you can stay ahead of him? I don't think that's, that's gonna work. At least he's picking up some speed. Careful! Do not crash. You crash, it's game over. And this is not a fun game. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. This is the worst. Hurry, let's go. I mean, how much longer is his car even going to last? Hmm. Those are some cool quick cuts in again. You better bail at the right time! All you need to do is just spark and catch that gasoline on fire. Oh, tell me he's going over the edge. Tell me he's going over the edge. Oh, <laughs> Well, it's about time. That's a beautiful shot, too. Tell me it's gonna explode. Come on. No explosion, really? Maybe it was outside of the budget. I mean, I'm hoping the driver's finished. Oh, watch, the driver's gonna show up like a horror movie monster. Great framing for that shot there. That's it, really, okay. I, I thought for I thought he, we were gonna have a reunion moment where he gets back with his family. A beautiful shot to end the movie on. All right, so that is Duel. Uh, was Spielberg always just insanely talented like since the beginning of his career because that was i was very impressed i i don't know why i expected um he was going to be a little bit rustier since he was newer as a director but i actually think that this movie more than some of his you know more well-known movies really relied on a director to make it engaging and interesting and i think that spielberg did an excellent excellent job i'm actually i don't know who wrote the screenplay as well but i'm actually really impressed with that too um, I think there's a lot of restraint shown with the screenplay, and I think that like the times where they, um, I don't know, there's there's a beautiful simplicity to this film and to the storyline, along with the directing that accompanied it. But I I think the idea is very original, and then you just gave it, put it in the hands of Steven Spielberg, who knew how to execute and deliver and make this type of an idea work for a movie, which. I think in the wrong hands would not have worked. But just the, you know, s setting the premise of 
ordinary everyman type of guy in a car facing this insane person caught up in a moment of undeserved road rage who happens to be in a souped up giant gasoline truck. I mean, I feel like it's only very relatable. Anyone who spent time driving, you've had a run in, you've had an experience with a reckless driver who endangers people's lives. You've had experience with just a jerk on the road. Um, so it's a very relatable premise. And then I really appreciate how our protagonist, um, he wasn't this macho guy. He wasn't this cool guy. He wasn't some race driver with all these insane maneuvers. You know, he was an ordinary man. And on top of that, you know, given the backstory that we have of like his wife and his, you know, what happened at the party, you know, he's a family guy and he clearly has some difficulties, maybe standing up for himself, confronting people. And I appreciate that because instead of making our guy some larger than life, you know, hero, here he is, this guy who struggles. And because of that, it makes him really seriously the underdog besides just the visual um, framing and the reality of, you know, an ordinary car versus this huge truck. The way the truck was done was very good. Uh, Part of me wishes we had seen the truck driver, but I actually am glad we didn't because, There was an air of mystery about it, and it was strengthened by that sequence in the cafe where, you know, it's it reminded me so much of the thing, you know, where he's we're watching along and he's trying to figure out which one of these guys is the guy who's doing this to me. And, you know, the 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 use of the voiceover in his head, it was peppered in at the right times but in that scene in particular that and then like there are a couple good like zooms in and out and like panning across the the guys just sitting there at the cafe as he's trying to figure it out and he's like going through his different options in his head just executed very well that was one of my favorite sequences in the movie and then this the the way that the truck the gas truck itself was shot there was a, a good variety of shots on the car, you know, where things didn't get too repetitive. You know, sometimes we had the camera above, we had some nice low angle shots, and then a lot of the shots as the truck was getting nice and close, you know, the camera would shake a little bit, which added this intensity and probably a, a feeling of speed as it accelerated towards him. And then a, a good amount of wide shots as well, you know, really showing the staging and just impressed me with the technical side of it. I don't think that this was, you know, this is a lower budget movie, I'm pretty sure, but I don't think it was an easy film to to shoot. I don't think there were any shortcuts being done. You know, there are some tricks, I'm sure, to, you know, work around the budget, but I was impressed with what was shown in this throughout the entire chase. If I had one minor thing that I I don't even know if I want to say it's a critique maybe it's just a personal preference and I could see this being a deliberate choice I could also see in this just a budget reality but I part of me just uh maybe maybe I'm just a basic audience member but I wanted to see an explosion with the gasoline you know for I thought for sure that was going to happen so I'm surprised so maybe that's the, what Spielberg was going for subversion maybe it was just budget restrictions which I completely understand but either way I really like the there was almost a feeling of emptiness at the end like I I was expecting more of a triumphant finale where this guy you know learned to really face down this truck driver and like stand up for himself and there's a little bit of celebration after you know the truck went over the cliff but then based off just the shots of the truck and then there's that wind you could really hear the wind ambiance and there's almost a silence and then when we had our main character just sit down there at the end there's at least for me it it left a feeling of emptiness where it didn't feel as cinematic it didn't feel as fantasy like as other movies might have played that scene out it felt bare and open and I liked that that's not a choice I think would that would be the obvious one but to me it kind of hammered home the I don't know the danger of the situation the how little glory there was even in defeating that evil truck driver Uh, it was just a crazy kind of threatening thing like a force of nature that luckily this guy was able to overcome but I don't know maybe I'm overthinking things but let me know in the comments down below did anyone watch this in the movie theaters before Steven Spielberg was well known and did you enjoy this movie because I think that's a true test I mean now that Steven Spielberg is so well known a lot of people have this assumption that the movie is going to be great that the directing is going to be great so it's cool if he made a strong impression like the directing or the just the feel of this movie 
impacted you even before you were familiar with who this director was. Um, thank you to everyone for watching along. If you do want to see more Spielberg reactions, you can leave a comment down below if you have a particular one you'd like me to check out. If you want to watch more reactions that I've already done, I have a playlist of Steven Spielberg reactions. Thank you to everyone for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of those reactions. And as always, remember, be active, be mindful, and be a hero. And please, don't engage in road rage. Just not a good idea.